is sort of like an intro uh, to uh, this bare knuckle class. Um, as I've said before, uh, we start with the gloves, uh, and then we go with um, uh, MMA gloves, and then ultimately we end up uh, bare knuckle working on bare knuckle because in the street, this is what you're going to deal with in the first place. All right, so um, for many of you, uh, this will be the first class that uh, you may not have seen of mine, but that was um, uh, shown to you uh, as a subscriber. So I want to explain what you'll be seeing uh, in the next uh, clip. It is of a partial bare knuckle class, uh, and I forgot that the fan was on when um, I started uh, recording. So um, what you're going to hear is some noise in the background. I did the best I could uh, with my editing software to uh, minimize the noise. Now what I'm showing them in this particular class are some entries into the, uh, the uh, monkey grip around the neck in order to get an uppercut in. Uh, the other half of the uh, video uh, is actually uh, body boxing. So we're working on toughening up uh, the body. Okay, so I want to welcome you new people. I hope you enjoy uh, this particular um, inside look at uh, one of my classes. Um, for those people uh, who are interested in my Patreon page, um, as you know, I've trained in six different martial arts. Uh, and I would like to know uh, what it is you would like to see first uh, posted uh, on the uh, Patreon page. Okay, um, again, it can be bare knuckle boxing, it can be self defense, uh, it can be karate for the streets, uh, whatever it is. I want you to tell me, and by you know, a, a sort of show of hands, uh, that is what will be on the first tier on the Patreon page. Okay, so you can let me know in the forum. You want to see bare knuckle, you want bare knuckle 101. If you want uh, Karate 101, um, whatever, MMA 101, Boxing 101, you let me know in the form. Or you can contact me at UmaCamp, U-M-M-A-H-C-A-M-P at Yahoo.com. I'll put you on the mailing list. Okay? Again, new subscribers, welcome to the Uma Fight Camp. Uh, enjoy the videos, the classes, and... Um, further lectures. First thing we're going to do is this. We're going to offer with one, two. Um, we're going to go one, two, push this across, and we capture this. Okay? One, two, one, two, push across, and capture this. So with a bigger guy, you know, he'll be on YouTube, they will be like, yeah, I don't want small people. So we're going to go one, two, come across, capture this. Okay? And pull down. Now, this is not, you're not going to stay. That's not to stay. When you talk about bare knuckle, this is part of bare knuckle. Right? Because bare knuckle, you give you damage in increments. Increments. You're not going to do a lot of damage at first. You're going to do damage in spots. Wow. So if I go, if he goes one, two, boom, boom, bang, then he's going to pull out. And bang, bang, he's problem in. Right? But initially, that's what you got. You go one, two, bang, 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 sort of, boom. Right? So you're gonna work on that. One, two, push across, and this comes across here. Right, perfect. Bang. There you go. One, two, hit. Bang. And I go, two, capture. Bang. Make sure you hit that neck with that monkey grip. You get some pressure down on the neck. Okay? There you go. One, two, spin, boom. There you go. Two, bang. There you go. One, two, boom. I go two, one. You go two, four, boom. Good. Good. Now, come in up a cut. When you come across, just go up a cut. Don't give me a hand, you'll cut. Boom, boom. The second parry, are you just placing the oil or are you pulling him into you? So, so it's going to just pull him across. One, two, this is coming across. I'm not holding the swipe. Yeah. Because generally in the street, they happen so fast, you're not going to be able to move it. You're going to draw that arm back. Right? Okay, let's go again. 
It's, a, it's a, a part of it. So you go one, two, right? Then you swing in. Oh. Bang. But that's not a bare knuckle. Okay? It is in MMA. So in MMA, you could go one, two, right? Swing it out. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. Kali got a lot of fancy stuff. That doesn't work. This works. Because once he goes one, two, it's easy to catch it before he even brings it back. They say, say when you throw this cross, you, you bring it back and you don't need it, right? What happens is, you follow him back. See? So he goes, one, two, I follow him back. Again, one, two, I follow him back. There you go. It's very, very easy. It can be done. This is not something fantastic that can't be done, okay? So when we're talking bare knuckles, you're not hitting them in the underhook because that's illegal in bare knuckle. So you do this in bare knuckle, push it, catch, let this go, bang, bring them into the MMA, you can go one, two, swoop around, bang, bang. You can't know you get yourself, you can't get up there. <laughs> Boom, right? But we're not doing it. We're doing bare enough. So bare enough was one, two, one, two, crack. One, two, bring them in, crack. Okay? Two more, go. Side of one, two, so we cross. Yeah. Make sure one, right? Two, bring this across my body, right? Now this comes. See, once you bring this across my body, I have nothing I can come back with except this. And I certainly am not going to do that. And if I go to try to push my body on that, if I try to realign myself, I can't. You see what I mean? So you're deliberately taking me out of out of commission. I can't. Okay. So I don't have to. So when we do that, like, so I don't have to like. So I can keep my structure. I don't have to press forward into it. I can just move on. Yeah. Okay. You can press into it if you feel resistance. So if I go one, two, and I'm trying to come back, then you can you can put your weight more more than you got. Okay? So once I go one, two, this goes here, that leaves this open to claw around. Okay? So I go one, two, that leaves that open. Go one, two, that leaves that open. Master, whatever face. This one. Same principle, but we're going here. So he goes with one, two. Come across, then punch in. Come across, then punch in. Right? Come across, then punch in. Now this one, you're throwing vertical. Because your hand is naturally here anyway. Once I go one, two, uh, let's switch this way so you see. Once I go one, two, my hand is already here. So I just throw it in. Boom. Okay? One more time, go. One, two, then punch in. Crack. Okay? Okay. So I go. I go one, two, way, crack. One, two, crack. Keep that chin down. See, I'm short, but you want to picture yourself with somebody tall. Okay? So once I want you, crack. Oh. Uh, oh, you heard it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I came off the, the cross came out. Huh? <laughs> it's a good thing you subconsciously. My mind said, wait a minute. And I choked it up. <laughs> hey. so okay. So I go, one, two. One, two. 
Yeah, you get you got my book, yep. Little right here. Oh, you got your book. Yep. <laughs> okay, next one is we're going to do the one two, come from the hook, and in the inch. Okay, so we go one, two, three. One, two, three, and Okay? Go one, two, three, and Now let's say both hands are up. Right? So he goes one, two, three, and his hand is up. Take catch your hand too. You just come across. You catch your both the arm, the arm, and the hand. Also the arms and the bicep. Yeah. Okay? Same thing, same uppercut. So he goes one, two, three, one, two, three, capture, boom, and up. Three, capture, boom, enough. Three, three, capture, boom, enough. Okay, we're going next. So, one, two, three, bang. Three, bang. Three, bang. Three, bang. Make sure you come back up ah, when you want to get down. Boom! Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Three. Crack. Huh? Oh, my fault. Sorry. Go. That, that's what I was talking about. I so. Trying to see the capture the arm. That's the part that you get in the middle. Three. Yeah. Bang. Yep. Yeah. Oh, now let's say his arm is up. Right? When he throws, he shows up. You just capture both of them. Next one. Okay, this one is a hook and a cross. So he throws a hook. One throws a cross. Come across. Bang. Throws a hook. The cross, same thing. Back. Hook, cross, cross, back. Got it? Okay, so one more time. Let me do a self for you. You throw the hook, you cover. This is why your hands have to be up. You cover. The cross comes here, capture, boom, up. So you're not going to open them. The yeah, look, okay, see, he throws one, one. He goes two, boom. I, you can go right in between. You don't, you don't have to. Oh, okay, that's what you have. Yeah, okay. you're right here. Fine. Oh, okay, okay. But you want to get this, this kind of thing. Bring your head down. Yeah, he goes here to get the clinch. Then head comes down into the shot. Make sure you, no, turn your body, turn your, you want to go here. Oh, okay. This way. Okay? You turn it right, get that grip right. Bang. Okay? You're swimming this way. You turn your body this way. Down. Right? It's monkey grip. You're, you're dropping your weight down on the table. This way. Mm -hmm. Dropping your weight down. You're putting your weight leaning on. Boom. You can literally, you can literally, if I'm here, right? If I'm here, right? I can literally turn. Thank you. You can literally, if you come here, right? You can turn it a bit. If I'm here, and you get down, you can turn it a bit. You can turn it a bit. It's going like a No, 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 no. It's like you hit by a car, you want to take the rest. You need some chest. You need some chest. But yeah, you want to boom. Right now. Right? So, you're going to hook. I'm going to come across. Right. My mom probably has to be like, it's all enough. Yeah, right? Same principle. 
and I throw, and he goes one in, right? Then he comes in, clap, clap, follow me. Follow me. Okay, so you go. I go one, clap, clap, clap. Okay? So I jab, roll it down, clap, clap, clap. Okay, so you go. One, what are I doing? I ain't got no time with all that. I ain't even get a chance. Ain't no chance to get this one back. Yeah, that's the point. So once I'm here, you just roll this in. Bang. Right? Follow me. Crack. Crack. You go. Roll this. Bang. Crack. Crack. Okay? So I jab. Roll it in. Crack. You go. Yeah. Crack. Okay, uh, so now, light body box, this way. Hands half swing.
I see your strategy. That is the best strategy. That is the best strategy. It certainly is. I'll tell you what that is. He gave it up though. Stop. That was the best strategy. I'm trying to parry you, come back and follow you, and you follow me. Step back. <laughs> ah. See? You watch it on a video. That's body boxing from the hood. It's a lost art that we brought back here to toughen the body. Okay? When you do something, you don't leave it. If it's part of your culture, you hang on to it. All right, here we go. It's 
part of the black culture. <sighs> the body box. And nobody's really hitting hard. Their hands are halfway open and halfway closed. So nobody's getting hit hard. But it toughens the body. And, and, and uh, there's just enough sting involved to where you feel it. And it, it creates a... See, this guy, he put a little high. <laughs> Usually people don't, you know, come that high. But this is day, ladies and gentlemen, where every now and then you notice he sneaks a cheap shot at you. <laughs> As I said, it's part of our culture as black folks in the hood to body box. And it, uh, it doesn't look like much to you, but I assure you, if you box somebody our age to the body, you will see the skill it takes to get a shot in. Especially when people know you're not punching to the head. When people know you're not punching to the head, the defense to the body is airtight. So it takes it takes a certain amount of time to get your shots in. And see, he just demonstrated something. When you're body boxing, your style shouldn't change much. You see how he do a combination, and then he do a jab once he finished the combination, because he knew I was coming in. Your body boxing should not be just like two savages going at each other. You should use the same technique body boxing as you use uh, with your hands up on the <sighs> It's also about angles like that. You gotta get them angles in, gentlemen. You saw a demonstration. Okay. That's what you gotta do. You gotta he gonna try to get back, people. I'm just forewarning you. So when you say shit, 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 it's because he hit me. <laughs> Down you don't abandon your jack. Set everything up with your jack.
so we use that here. Anybody over 50 knows what it is, okay? This is probably the only place you're gonna see it where we throw back all the time what works in black culture we take. Now, there will be times when you see me get hit more. We don't edit this stuff. So when you see me get hit, you'll see it.